Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you too. Nice to see you too. Hey, congratulations. It is. Congratulations on the album. Thank you. It's it's been a long time coming. It has. It has. But I'm so proud of it, and we've worked really hard. And I've been lucky enough to do some unbelievable things whilst working hard on the album, so... Uh, I've got to say, there's a version of the Coldplay Embrace song, uh, Gravity, on it. That's yes. beautiful. Oh, thank you uh, so your much. Your voice is so stunning. Uh, how did you feel when you, you had it in your hands for the first time? <laughs> I remember feeling like, I don't want anyone to see it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt, I was so proud. And I couldn't believe... I mean, just making my own music video and, and then seeing the cover and the pictures and, and I wrote, like, little credits at the end and reading them. It was amazing. But I remember feeling really protective over it and being like, get away. <laughs> I was like, Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, did you play it to your family? Because I know you, you, you're part of a massive family. I am, and <laughs> you can imagine how excited they were. The anticipation for this for them has just been incredible. And as soon as I sort of took it home, I kept it quiet for a little while. It was only when my dad rang me up like a few days later and said, nice album, by the way. I stole it and put it on my laptop without hey. you knowing. I don't know. God, copyright. But, uh... <laughs> but it, seems, it seems odd that it's taken the, the six years for you to bring it out because you went on X Factor to do the music yes. and your success on X Factor meant that you didn't do the music, you did everything else. <laughs> I really wanted to write my own music and be involved in an album like I'd always dreamed of. And to do that, it just meant I had to wait a little bit longer to get that kind of contract where the label would allow me to do yeah. what I wanted to do. And so I did. And I was so lucky that in between, I was offered all kinds of amazing jobs and, and new experiences. So I kind of took those on whilst I was waiting for the right album deal to come along. Uh, how much of your, your past life do you, do, you, do, you, do you go back on when you're writing? Um, I think writing is just such a, a strange experience. One, I, th I feel like whatever it is that I'm, I'm feeling at the time, whatever I walk into the studio with on my shoulders is what I end up writing about. Right. And then I feel like I've been to therapy for, <laughs> for a whole day. Well, lots of sing singer-songwriters say the I same thing. I come out just so, I don't know, relieved and... and is it the words that you... That inspire you or the music or a bit of both really yeah, both. so a lot, a lot of the time i mean most of the time the, the words reflect the, the music yeah. um obviously mm. and then a lot yeah a lot of the time it starts off with music before it, before you i even think of a concept or, or what it's about okay. but the music the mood of the music always comes from however i'm feeling as i walk into the studio Did you with, play it without knowing piano or guitar? Um, yeah piano guitar mm. and then we have different sessionists who come in and we just mess around and and mm. it's so much fun mm. the Did process you, is is incredible do you listen to a lot of music martin yeah Yes, do you play anything? Well, I mean, very badly. I, I can play a keyboard a bit oh. and play, play the guitar a little bit. But... We can make our own band. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the best offer you've had today so yeah, far, isn't it? Definitely. <laughs> and you can manage us. Oh, lovely. It's 25% <laughs> if that's all right. Oh, that's a bit of steep. <laughs> Sorry. Blimey. It's not bad for the music industry. <laughs> you know, all, all of this almost didn't happen, you know, the, the, the dream that you're living now, if you like. You were very young when you became a parent to start with. It meant yes. that you didn't go to college. You ended up working in the chip shop, didn't you? I did go to college. I, I, I went to college and had a young child and worked in the chip shop Amazing. at the same time. I mean, I, I was excited to do that. I, I knew that I wanted to follow my dreams and I was always really ambitious and mm. nothing was going to stop me. That chip shop was called Oh My God. Yeah, it was actually <laughs> the best job ever. I got to, like, I'm so sociable and I love meeting people and, you know, you get your regulars on a Friday. <laughs> Two cod, one chips. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> I can see a series coming on here. It's brilliant, <laughs> absolutely. Also, I would say, seriously now, that yours is the story and an inspiration for people as well, you know, that if at first you don't succeed, try try again because that's exactly what you did with the x factor oh yeah i auditioned three times before i got into the x factor and i never felt disheartened after any of the auditions i'm kind of one of those people that's just like oh, okay yeah. <laughs> next year um and and that's and that i, I really want to indent that into my children as well that anything's possible it really is and if you try it as hard as you can you can achieve all of your dreams. Uh, and you did. Are you, are you in touch with any of the, the, the old X Factor lot? Yeah, I speak to Ollie, Joe, Lucy, right, everyone all the time. It was such a great year, actually. Really good year. It, it led to so many other TV opportunities. Uh, Queen of the Jungle, of course. Uh, and we've seen you recently on The Jump. Uh, you must like a challenge. Oh, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do like to be challenged. And there is something about sort of like extreme sports and doing crazy things that 
most people think I couldn't do. That I love that. Yeah. I remember when they asked me to do the jungle, and I told my family, and they were like, "Yeah, right. <laughs> See you in a week's days. <laughs> There's just no way." <laughs> and I was like, inside, that just made me feel like I have to do this. Yeah. But that's <laughs> the side people don't maybe see of you very often. But you, you, you've got that in you, haven't you? That that that, that, that tough grit, if you like. I feel so lucky all the time to get the opportunities to do these things, let alone actually give them a go and, and try my hardest to do it. I, I don't think I could ever pass up on it. Uh, and the jump got your boyfriend. It did. And he's here with you, uh, Steve-O, uh, <laughs> from Jackass. Um, is a night out with him pretty dangerous? Well, he's teetotal, so... <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> uh, and we know you're not, cos is the drink still Malibu and pineapple? You know, I love Malibu and pineapple. <laughs> it's like such a baby's drink, but alcohol tastes disgusting, if you ask me. And the only thing that tastes nice is Malibu and pineapple, don't you agree? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Vodka's disgusting. Wine. Beer? Who invented beer? I know. Terrible. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> terrible. Well, well, listen, I'm so thrilled that you're back doing the day job. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm just you. so happy for you as well, you know, because uh, I know that singing and performing is the first love, so uh, you're back doing what you love most. And, you. and you're going to perform for us, aren't you? Yes. Go and get yourself Ooh, ready. Uh, thank you, you. You've got the band there with you as well. <laughs> uh, brilliant musicians. Uh, so, with the title track from her brand new album, Shy, co written by Rita Ora, it's Stacey Solomon. <laughs> You gave me those butterflies The minute I caught your stare The room was electrified And we were both standing there The feeling was so intense My heart, it was beating fast I sent you a little prayer To not let this moment pass Cause you'll never know If you Try something so sweet could be passing us by. I could be yours and you could be mine. Why do you have to go and make me so shy? Past. The whole world is at your feet My confidence fading fast I'm drowning in words I can't speak I wonder if you are real I want you to come to me All the colors blurring into one Just like a star so beautiful But impossible to reach Cause you'll never know If you Go and make me so shy.
Billy Ray was a preacher's son And when he started with bills, did he come along? When they gathered around and started talking That's when Billy would take me walking Out through the backyard we go walking Then he'd look into my eyes Lord, no to my surprise The only one who could ever reach me Was the son of a preacher man The only boy who could ever teach me Was the son of a preacher man Yes, he was, he was To me, he come and tell me everything is all right. He kiss and tell me everything is all right. Can I get away again tonight? The only one who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. The only boy who could ever teach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. He was.